and things that I have gone through that has helped me and has also helped others. And I want to make sure that we are all supporting each other. And if it was it. wrong, they found another way to justify why they did it. And they will do it in a way to manipulate you to side with them today. If right now, is. today, what I need you to do is focus on how I can validate my own damn self without me feeling like I need to find someone else to do that validation for me. Uh, that's yes. what, yes, champion. When I say love yourself again, you may have never even explored it. It's very, very, very powerful is that there is no love without forgiveness and there's no forgiveness without love. You need to understand specifically a Hey champs out there, this is Adaya Cherie. I am here today to give you guys some information. Today is Wednesday. I'm still in Mississippi and I am here to give you guys about how to avoid energy, energy vampires today. How to avoid energy vampires today. And if you see it, you guys see my atmosphere, I am outside so you may hear all kinds of stuff there's dark dogs barking there's all kinds of stuff that are going on around me but anyway i'm outside with nature because i think by me being at home in mississippi i would prefer to be outside doing this recording and if you have not tuned in to any videos you can catch me on youtube but today i mean i thought i would do something different this is wednesday wakeness champion wednesday wakeness so you guys have seen my video so this is about how to avoid energy vampires, those particular people that are sucking the life out of you. For an example, when you go into a room and those people are the type of people that leave you mentally and physically drained, you have headaches, you're unhappy, you're sad, you may start to feel even depressed. So I want to give you some tips on what I did and how I keep my vibe in check on what to look for for these type of people and avoid these energy vampires. So if you're tuned in right now and you're just joining in, awesome. I'm doing a full live video. Y'all already know I'm doing my videos pretty raw. Um, so let's get right into it. First thing first, with an energy vampire, those people have personality disorders. They have personality personalities disorder so you want to make sure that you're looking out for these these type of behaviors they may have an up moment they may have a down moment they may be up again they may be also down again keep in mind is that if you want to keep your energy in check champion be able to know what to look for for these people because many times we give them the benefit of the doubt many times so let me give you some tips on how to avoid these type of people today so if you're looking at this video today and if you're saying like hey I actually was in a good mood and somebody just really threw me out of my funk and, you know, put me in and I was like super, super energized, super hype in a very good mood. And then you go into a space to where this person has really robbed you of your space. So you want to make sure that you are 100% looking out what to look for, for these type of people. And we call them energy vampires. They really suck the energy out of you. Like they leave you mentally drained and physically drained. And if you are tuned in and if you are not familiar with how your mind, your mental and your physical body works, your, you may notice sometimes that when you are stressed, you may be sleepy, be looking and not be able to do the things that you normally do is because your brain is starting to match sorry your physical body is starting to match your mental mind your mental that means that if you notice that i was once happy and then i'm not happy and i'm starting to feel a little bit more tired um than what i am you may have been a victim of being sucked by one of these energy vampires here's one thing i will tell you is one thing that i will tell you that has helped me and i'm hoping that it'll help you today is mind your own business mind your own business meaning that do not feel like you need to jump into every situation people are presenting to you when i say mind your own business you need to stay in your own lane okay so i'm in Farrell, mississippi so that's a little bit outside of Friars point mississippi and i'm gonna be going back to Friars point but one thing i had really that I was asking my sister, I was like, what is one thing that you would do to avoid a loser? <laughs> I use that word. And she was like, and then I got to, obviously I got to Pharaoh and then someone else heard the question. 
and it was mind your own business. So yes, mind your own business today. If you want to avoid an energy vampire, someone that is sucking the life out of you, sucking your energy, sucking your mental, throwing your energy way off from where it was before. If you walked into a room super in a, you know, in a content mood, and then you notice that someone has completely threw you off your vibe. Yes, your vibe. Um, because when you think about energy, it comes from Sorry, vibe comes from energy. Energy comes from vibration. That may go way over your head, but I'm letting you know. However you think, you will start to have different levels of vibration. You may have a low vibration or a higher vibration. I'll do a video on that too because that also affects your vibration. And that comes with people mentioning the word energy. And the word energy is most likely coming used with the word vibe. So I wanted to just let you guys know how that works, but that may be way, way, way over your head today, but let's just stay on what we're talking about today. Mind your own business today, champion. Rhonda, how you doing? Sheikah, how you doing? Thank you guys for tuning in. Mind your own business today, because if you do not do that, you will be a victim of being um, sucked by an energy vampire. That means that you need to limit your contact with these people. Do what you need to do with these people, but move on. Meaning that you need to literally minimize the physical contact that you are having with these type of people. These people do have a personality disorder. They may be the type of people that you notice that are the biggest chronic, chronic, chronic complainers. When I say chronic, they do it all the time. Nothing makes them happy. Anytime you go into a room or there could be a live party that's going on and you may see this person in the room that's always got something to say about someone someone that's always bringing the energy down the debbie downers the ones that are continuously continuously finding every reason making every effort to be unhappy these are the type of people you do not want to be around and if you are around these type of people trust me it's going to get annoying but if you do not know how to set boundaries with these people they will drain the life out of you so if you know you have been around people specifically that are chronic complainers and when i mean chronic please 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 hear me i say chronic i'm not saying complain because sometimes we are unhappy sometimes i'm talking about people that are unhappy all the time so Put something at the bottom of the comment if you disagree or you agree with that. I personally am giving you my experience and letting you guys know that if you mind your own business and limit the contact with people, you will realize that you have a insight on how you can manage being around these energy vampires. Mind your own business. Please mind your own business. Um, that means coming by limiting your contact with these type of people, meaning limit your physical contact with these people so if you are around these people that are doing this to many people, and it's not just you they do it all the time because they're already unhappy these people are unhappy so it won't matter what you do because they make every every situation about them and they make every good situation to be the worst situation ever so you want to make sure that you watch out for that make sure you do another thing is no one when you see one no one when you see one so this can be tricky this part can be tricky. How to know an uh, energy vampire is to know one when you see one. And you may say, okay, Sharia, how can I recognize um, an energy vampire? Let me give you some tips. How to know an, an energy vampire is this. When you go into a room, when you go into that space, or that person comes into your space, either way, you may leave that person literally, physically, emotionally drained. You may have headache. You may have physically lost your energy. Let's say that you walked in the room and you were completely energized. You're ready to go, you're pumped. And then these people come into your space or you go into their space and you realize that these type of people have sucked the energy and the life out of you. So the energy that you once had is no longer there. Let me know if you if you got comments about that. How to know an energy vampire when you see one is that you will lose energy. They will do everything in their power to suck the energy out. But I will tell you this. 
some energy vampires don't know that they're energy vampires. I'm going to tell you that some people don't know that they're like this because they're not uh, they're not aware of what they're doing and what they're saying and how they are treating other people and how they're treating themselves. This comes with self love, not being content with who you are. It is totally okay for you to say, you know, for you to always elevate yourself and upgrade from one one area to another. But if you're starting to find yourself to be the person to where nothing is making you happy. And anytime that someone comes around you and you constantly, constantly, constantly being a chronic complainer, you may be draining the people that are around you. You may be draining the people that are around you. And that could very well be. So here's another thing. That could very well be because you are unhappy with your own life. So unwittingly, meaning that you're not even aware of this, your unconscious mind is doing this, you may realize that you are really becoming the person, that very negative, bad, bad, no good person that you don't want to be. You may be that type of person or you may know that, know someone that I call a bad, bad, no good person. When I say that, is that nothing will make you happy until you are happy. And it's hard to please someone that is an energy vampire because their overall goal is to suck the life out of you and everyone that is around you because they themselves are not yet full. So you want to make sure that you're looking out for those type of people. Another one is to look out for is confusion. Yes, confusion. If you start <laughs> if you start to go in a room and have a real life conversation with someone, I say real life all the time. When you go in and have a, a conversation with someone and you go in with no you leave that conversation with no clarity, that person has confused you and turned your mind inside out, you may be a victim of being sucked by an energy vampire. And when you are confused, you may leave the room and was like, "What were we just talking about?" How did I how did I agree with that? You may notice that. So you want to be careful when you're looking at these type of things. And sorry, if you see me looking over, I was I was actually trying to make sure these walk down the street. Um, I mean, I'm in a rural area right now. It's way different from being in Denver. I love it here. I love being back at home because they can just walk down the street and I can actually see where they're going. Um, it's so beautiful to be back at home, actually. Um, another thing is negativity. Negativity. If you are being around someone that is full of the BS negativity, watch out. And I, when I say watch out for these things, is that you may start to pick up those habits. Get away. Limit your contact. If you want to have a Wednesday wakeness, look out and see who's around you. What is? What am I bringing myself to? Am I putting myself in a space that's causing me to be mentally drained. This could be someone that is in a physical, you're in an intimate relationship with them, or it can be anybody that you're coming in contact with. Avoid this type of stuff. Avoid this. You can't change how people are, but you can change the environment that you're in by making the right choice on who I'm going to allow in my space today. So I will suggest that you guys do that. Remember, people that are energy vampires, they honestly, some most of the time, they have personalities, this personality disorders anyway. They're chronic complainers. They're very, very argumentative. Argumentative. When I say argumentative, they are really argumentative towards that. Unable to take a no for an answer. If they're unable to take no for an answer, honey, you need to get away from that. So make sure that you are making making sure that you are 1,000% being more mindful today, being awake today, staying awake today to know that you are 100% getting away from these type of people. If you are being a victim of someone that is sucking your energy today, yesterday, I'm giving you these tips right now because you need to make sure that these people are not ruining your life. And when I say ruining your life, they will ruin your mood and your moment. And if you're in a relationship, especially an intimate relationship with someone, that's the conversation to be of what you are able to tolerate and what some things that you cannot tolerate because that person could very well need some help. And, and if you're not a professional, we need to try to get some help for those people to know why they're so unhappy and why they're continuously causing themselves to be in this type of situation. 
All right. So another thing I will tell you is that make sure that whoever you invite into your space is worth your space and worth your time. When I speak of energy vampires, when I think of these people, you do not want to invite these people into your space. And if you invite them into your space, keep it at a minimum. Keep it at a minimum. Yes, champion, keep it at a minimum because there's going to be some times to where you are going to have to have a conversation with negative people anyway. But do not go all out trying to figure out what they're saying, trying to go all out. You are going to leave even more confused. You're going to probably be hurt because they may say something that hurts your feelings and make you feel wrong, which is a, a slight thing that they usually do is attack is manipulation. So try to avoid these type of people. One thing I will definitely say is that when I mentioned earlier about minding your own business, do not engage. When I say do not engage, do not engage yourself with people that are con going to continuously suck the life and energy out of you today. When I say today, obviously today is Wednesday, wakeness. So if you want to stay woke with a diet, Cherie, look out for these type of people Make sure that you know if these people are worth being in your space. And if you so happen to have to go into their space, still keep that contact at a minimum. This is Adaya Sheree. If you guys have any questions for me, you guys already know to hit me up. This is uh, my wake, my Wednesday wakeness out in Mississippi. I'm so, so, so happy to be here. If you are not tuned in, please make sure you go on YouTube to look at my videos and make sure that you look at everything that I'm posting. Today is the second class of module two is level up your communication to better relationships. Level up your communication to better relationships. If you still I mean, right now I'm in central time, so I have, I have, I'm actually going to be going in class in about an hour. But if you want to join that class, hit me up, private message me, and let me know what you want me to, you know, let me know if you want to join that class. Today we about to go in about how you've been communicating, because sometimes we become the victim all the time and say, this person don't understand me, they don't do this. I'm giving you these tips can help you today is level up communication with adaya sheree that is a private class and it is live and i only only send that invite to people that i know for sure that have secured a spot i still have one hour left i'm not in mountain time so i actually get to go in at six o'clock today so and i actually may do it outside so today if you are interested let me know but this conversation is about how to avoid energy vampires champion energy vampires the people that are sucking the life and the energy out of you and leaving you confused leaving you negative leaving you unhappy leaving you depressed you want to make sure that you are continuously looking out for these type of people i'm so so happy somebody said help <laughs> on there i got you uh message me and let me know do not you do not have to be around these type of people but i will tell you you all have a choice anyone that you invite into your space you need to make 100 percent. you need to make a choice within yourself and being certain that these people are worth your time to be in your space and if you are around people that are sucking your energy you need to make sure that even if you go into their space that is also worth your time Nonetheless, you still need to limit the contact with these type of people. Until they get the help, they will never be happy. And trust me, you're going to also leave unhappy once you leave these people's presence. Um, maybe you know somebody that's like that. Maybe they need help and maybe they're oblivious to knowing that they are even like this. I personally was like this. I was like this after my divorce. I was like this after my divorce and I didn't realize that I had become so bitter, so unhappy with my own life that I unwittingly didn't even know that I was even allowing, you know, stressing other people out because I myself hadn't even gotten the help that I need because I felt like I was okay. In essence, I was not okay. Um, right now, I love sharing this information. You guys know I bring the real with the love. I think it's so important that we address this. Mental health is important. Physical health is important. Um, making sure that you put the right people in your life is important. You want to make sure that you are continuously, continuously working hard on yourself so that you can be the better you and recognizing who deserves to be in your life today. If they don't deserve to be in your space today, you have a choice. And a lot of times we tolerate a lot of the energy vampires because we feel like we don't have a choice. But honey, everybody has a choice, even when you don't think you have one. 
at the time that I was divorced, I had a choice to stay in that marriage or not. I still have the same choice today. Choice never changed. You still have a choice regardless. So if you're knowing that you're tolerating some people that shouldn't be in your space and shouldn't be in your life, check on yourself and see why are you tolerating these people. You could very well be someone that is being sucked by an energy vampire. Hit me up. This is Adaya Sheree. I love y'all. I love seeing people on here watching. Mika, Jaleesa, whoever it is that's on here, share this video. This is being Wednesday. This is my Wednesday wakeness. So right now, if it's evening time and you still sleep, you better stay woke today because I'm going to wake you up. This is Adaya Sheree. Y'all take care and be blessed.